Oh, good morning, adventurers, and welcome back to my channel. I had a wonderful night's sleep here at this amazing forest camp. And even though yesterday was a little crazy trying to get here, it was well worth it. One of the best night's sleep I've had in a bit on the road. So now we're just kind of moving around camp a little bit slow. I'm about to download some footage. Riley is about to be doing some things also. And then we're gonna figure out where we're going next. I have no idea where this day is gonna take us yet. So this could be interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these even though I'm still working in the back, just so that I can get some of the condensation off of the windows. I didn't have any in the cab last night, but I did have a little on this front window specifically. So this will allow it to kinda get a little less like that. And then by the time I'm ready to go, it'll all be gone. A lot of people are concerned because I don't have any kind of insulation in the back. So they wonder if I do get condensation. And on occasion, yeah, I do. But usually the condensation is pretty much isolated to the window area, unless it's just super, super cold. Last night it did get into the 30s, so it was cold. But just for context, no condensation in the box whatsoever. And the only condensation I had was on my front window. So that's not too bad. Okay, time to do a little maintenance in the cab. All this is just from the past few days of the shoes and the water and the mud. So usually I just sweep this a few times a week. Cause ew, gross. Not great, but better than it was. No loose debris and stuff. So that's a win. So far this morning, it's been going pretty well. I've gotten almost everything downloaded. I was going to edit a little bit, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that now. Um, it's just been one of those days where we're a little bit slow moving, but at the same time trying to get a lot done. And I have to take these moments here in the van whenever I don't have things going on to do the downloading because otherwise I can't get it done. There's just too much. I produced so many videos here on the channel for you guys that if I didn't take these little tiny moments to just catch up, I would always be so far behind. So I've been trying to do this and then on my next office day, I'll sit here and do all my editing and it'll catch me up and get you guys ahead. So I have a plastic bag. Time to take a nature walk and clean this place off. It's not terrible, but I can see some trash just kind of out and about. And we want this to be here next time because we really enjoyed it. So let's go clean up some trash, Trash Tuesday style. Like, I get putting this in a tree stump, you think it's no big deal, and you probably realistically tied off your dog or something to it, but if this comes out, this could kill someone's tires. Like, look at that spike, that's so bad. So, I may not be able to get everything because there's so many cigarette butts out here, like right by this fire pit area, but I picked up at least 20 already. <laughs> so, yeah, not great. I am happy to not see any toilet trash though. That's a first. Like, why are they shredded? This is also a way to puncture a tire. Oh, this is bad. I'm not gonna be able to get all of this because it's tiny. So I'll get the big pieces, but that's just glass. It's a Dr. Pepper bottle. Like, why? I'm afraid it's gonna cut me if I pick up any more of it. Yeah, be careful. <sighs> Leave it better than you found it, guys. This is ridiculous. This is a beautiful campsite, and people have just left out stuff. Stuff that could have easily been put in one of these and then taken to a trash can. Like, we always pick up after ourselves, but I'm finding more and more that we're having to pick up after others just to be able to keep spaces open. And I don't know how many people don't realize how many sites have closed as a result of stuff like this, because even if I would like to, I cannot pick up all that glass. I just don't have the ability to. Oh, so disheartening. Well, looks like we found more cans, more cigarette butts, Ooh, and more glass. This is right where you drive in. This looks like it's an old dead fire ring that you wouldn't see until you're too far on it. And there's glass literally right here. So people apparently threw this 
into the fire pit thinking, oh, it's where it's supposed to go. It's not. Well, by no means did I get all the trash, but in only about 20 minutes, we did 20 minute trash Tuesday today. And for 20 minutes, picking up trash, I have over doubled the weight of my trash bag because of all the loose items that other people left. So I encourage you guys to, if you're at a campsite, always leave it better than you found it. And if you happen to be out on Tuesday, no matter where you are, grab a bag or some gloves and just pick up some trash. The world could use a little bit more kindness and a little less disgustingness. Now we're back at the vans and we're gonna keep getting ready. I think it's time for me to finally change and then we're gonna head off to our next adventure pretty soon, which I'm very excited about. Hey, Riley, Riley, yeah. are you ready for our next adventure? Yeah. Are you ready for the place that we're not gonna tell them about until tomorrow? Not tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, sure. It's gonna be super fun. Yeah. Riley has never been here before. We're probably going to have some fun and see some things that I've seen before, but in a different time of the year. I love the place that we're going to. It's really nice and it's cool to be able to show my friends. So yeah, I think I'm gonna finish getting everything together though. Campsite's gonna be a little bit better than whenever we got here. We still have to pull up some maps and overall, I will need to get into my roof box at some point, just not when the ground is so moist. I really hate tracking in stuff. And I've noticed even with my little sandals that it's getting pretty close. If I didn't have the mat, I'd be in trouble. Just from since last night. So I'm gonna shake this out before I go to camera's out for today for filming. I have my little mirror and then I have my little makeup right here. And even though I have tables, this also serves as a really nice easy table to use for like my makeup kit. So all I have to do is bring this up. Hi guys. And then I can put my makeup on. Put together the van is put together now i just need shoes and i may grab a light jacket because it's nice outside but it's also going to be a little chilly when i'm in the shade and where we're going to be today there's definitely going to be some shade so all in all good campsite amazing place a little cleaner than whatever we got here and a lot of adventures to be had now the road in if you didn't see last video go check it out a little sketchy um bring you a riley that's all i have to say They'll call out potholes, they'll call out wet spots, and then you won't have to worry if you're in a regular van, because, yeah, that's the one downside to having a regular van as opposed to a four-wheel drive, but typically it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna finish getting ready now. The shoes, I've already got some socks for them. I'm gonna bring these back here, and I'm gonna clean my mat off real quick, and then I'm gonna sit on the mat to put my shoes on, but not on this. Time to grab a jacket and I'll just grab this one on the top. Time to re-loop this to hold this one in place. <sighs> okay, it's about time for me to get on the road now. I'm very excited. This has been a great stay. Again, super peaceful, super nice. A couple flies got in my van, but that's okay. I'll sort that out later. I'm very excited to get back on to some adventures today. Make sure you guys check out the next upload. You'll see where we're going. But for now, I'm going to leave you with a few scenes of us driving out of here. So you can see what this road looks like just in case you did miss yesterday's video. It's kind of interesting. It's definitely a wild ride. And um, I can only imagine if it is rainy that it's probably not the best because even with the moisture that they've had right now, there's a couple spots that were a little rutted out and iffy. This is a wildlife management area in Arkansas. There are several that you can choose from. Just make sure that whenever you do, you look at the rules for staying. Some of them require permits, others don't. So uh, do your research. This is one of those places that it's worth it to do that tiny bit of research to come to. So with that said, guys, remember we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. I'm gonna get out of here and uh, you'll see where we go next. Till next time, guys, bye.